Hello, Neil Clayton here from Shiny White Box, and I want to run through the iShowU audio capture driver. This relates to Soundflower as well, and uh, hopefully I can um, help you understand how iShowU is using it better, so that uh, if you've got problems with sound or capturing app audio, uh, you can now do something about it. So let's begin. We'll start with my ever so lofty goals. Um, so yeah, we're talking about fixing app audio problems that you're having. Um, and also teaching you about it so that you can understand what's what's going on. And of course, use as many animations as I can. All right, um, so what we're going to be using here is I show you instant. Um, and some familiarity with the system uh, sound preferences panel will also be useful. So just pointing that out there. Let's have a talk about the normal case of audio. So normally when an app is playing some sort of sound, whether this be Safari or iTunes or something, normally you're going to hear that through your speakers um, because in sound system preferences you've got it set so that all audio by default goes out to internal speakers or, or somewhere. Um, and wouldn't it be great if, in the case of I show you, we could simply capture what was going to the speakers? It would be wonderful, but unfortunately we can't. There's absolutely no API for us to do this. There's no uh, public way that we can do that provided by Apple. So instead we have to get the audio into iShowU in a different way. And we do that by changing the default output. So we effectively say to the whole computer, hey, you're going to play your audio to iShowU, which is great because that lets us save stuff in a movie and everyone's happy. The only problem is, when we do that, you can no longer hear it. Um, which is not so great. So what I show you actually does is also play the audio to the speakers. So, sorry if this is a bit complicated, but we, we will get there with an example, I promise. Okay, so let's have a look at this in action. And what I want you to focus on is, if you see where it's got internal speakers, I'm going to change the option called Record Application Audio, and I want you to look at what is changing on the right-hand side. So let's do that. Okay, so come over here, click on Record App Audio. Notice how its I Show You Audio Capture is now automatically selected. I Show You is doing that. And that is what is redirecting all of the system audio um, to that driver which is actually a good time to mention this important point. And that is, don't change the output device yourself when ISHU is running and app audio is enabled. Really important that you don't do that. Um, otherwise, no audio will be recorded. Conversely, any audio that does go to ISHU Audio Capture is going to be recorded by ISHU. Um, so, you know, we'll get into an example of this actually later on. Okay, common issue. Sometimes you'll be recording, and you, you think you're recording, but nothing happens. You get to the end of your recording, you go and play it back, and you've got no audio. Um, common places, Skype. VLC used to be pretty bad at this as well, but as I checked it just before, it's fine now. Um, so let's have a look at the Skype case. Now, the reason that it's quite common is... Because often you'll set Skype up, and I've, I've got the drop down here, and that's actually the speakers, okay, so where uh, audio from other people is going to be played back. And that's to my headset, the G930, because I'm wearing that. Um, that's great, but let's just have a look at what happens. Let's say I'm recording, someone gives me a call on Skype, or I'm recording a Skype call. Um, Skype is playing audio back to the G930, specifically. That means iShowU is not going to see anything at all. The iShowU audio capture driver is, is where iShowU is listening, or it's what it is listening to, uh, to get audio. If nothing is sent to that, then you won't hear anything. So in this case, what you've got is Skype is playing back and I can hear it, but I show you is not hearing anything because nothing's going to that driver. And so in your final movie, you get silence. So the easy solution is that you change your speakers to be same as system. 
Um, now what will happen there is that when the default output device is changed from whatever it is to I show you audio capture, Skype sees that and all of the Skype audio will suddenly switch over to the I show you audio capture device and then it'll be captured which is great. Um, slight problem will be that you will no longer hear audio in your headset and later versions of iShowU let you get around that by, by effectively saying in iShowU itself uh, I want to hear my audio in this device and so you can see here I've selected my 930 headset. So when iShowU is doing its thing with that setup you have Skype playing audio and it's now going to the capture driver the capture driver sends it to iShowU and iShowU records it both to the movie and also to the 930 headset. Um, well, it doesn't record it to the headset, but plays it back. Okay, so brief summary. I think I'll have enough animation. Um, don't change the default output device and system preferences when iShowU is running. Uh, iShowU is controlling it and it's set it there for a reason. Um, any audio going to the iShowU audio capture device will be recorded. So think of something, uh, another case, go to meeting. Uh, if you, as long as the you can change the app so that audio goes to the iShowU audio capture device, then it'll work. Then iShowU will be able to record it. Uh, and just keep in mind that you may want to change the preference for audio playback in iShowU if you want to hear the audio in something other than, say, speakers, you know, which is what you'd normally get. Uh, and don't forget to use many, many animation effects. Anyway, I hope that helps. Um, have a look at help.shinywhitebox.com for more articles.